one of the most common short codes that we'll need to use is the column sort code. It allows us to place multiple columns across the page that when people look at it on uh, tablet devices or mobile devices will automatically be rearranged and resized for the screen. So let's just say uh, we want to add three columns across the page, all equal sizes. So we would position the cursor where we want the first column and we'd click on the insert short code icon just above the navigation bar. And then we would select multi columns. The first drop down indicates to the contact management system exactly what column layout you require. And we'll start off by looking just at these first six. The first number indicates that you want two columns, or three columns, or four columns. Any of the starting columns would be ending a zero here. If it was the final column, then it ends in a one. So for three column layout, we would need to add a starting column. So we select that, and we'll paste some content into it here. This content can be changed at any time in the future. It gives us a starting point. So, so three underscore zero. If we want to just check what that shortcode does for us, we can click on the demo, and we look for three underscore zero, three underscore zero, three underscore one. This is the three columns we're trying to achieve, so that we can see that we need the three underscore zero, another three underscore zero. And then a three underscore one, and the one denotes the end of all of the columns. So we'll close that preview, and let's insert that shortcode. And there we have it. We have a opening tag for the shortcode, a closing tag for the shortcode, and we have that col content that we just pasted in there. So let's add the second column of our three column layout. We'll select three zero again with some content which we could change and paste in and insert and now we need the final column of our three column layout so we're going to insert short code but this time we want to tell the system that this is the last column in our layout so we need to select a three column layout and the one indicates that it's the last column again we could change this content and we'll insert. So we have three short codes, three zero, three zero, three one, and the one indicates it's the final column. So if we preview those changes, we can see we've got a three column layout. And if we close that preview, we could maybe add a two column layout below that. So we would insert short code we tell the content management system that we want a two column layout and it's one of the starting columns so we select zero two underscore zero we place some content in the box and we insert that short code we want the final column of our two column layout so we will insert short code again it's a two column layout but the one denotes the final column, so we select two underscore one. We write our content into the box, we paste it, and we insert the short code. So we now have two new short codes, two underscore zero, two underscore one, with our content. And if we preview the changes, we'll see that we have three columns and two columns. There's a little problem in that we've got a bit of bunching on these different columns. So maybe we want some space between them. So if we close that preview, we're going to step just before the two columns. So this is at the end of the three column layout. Hit the Enter key. We're going to put a spacer shortcode into this area. So we click on Insert Shortcode and we look for spacer, empty space with adjustable height. 
and it gives us a 20 pixel tall spacer we can change that but 20 pixels is probably quite good and we just click the insert button and we have a special short code there's no closing tag for this one because there's no content so there's the short code so if we preview what that short code's doing for us and that's position between the three columns and the two columns let's preview that and we can see we've got a 20 pixel spacing between these three columns and these two columns let's close that preview if we go right to the bottom of the page let's quickly just put another spacer 20 pixels tall and we'll space down now the other column options are columns that are not of the same width so we've seen three columns wide where each column is the same width we've seen two columns across the page where each column is the same width but there's a couple of other options where there's two columns but the first column is two-thirds the width of the page with the final column being a third and there's another option where the first column is a third the width of the page and the second column is two-thirds the width let's just do a couple of examples so you can see exactly what I mean so we're going to select insert short code we're looking for our multi columns and this time we're looking to put a one-third followed by a two-thirds column width so we want to start with a one-third width column, one-third, and it's a starting column. And we'll put some content in there, and we'll insert. And we'll put another short code in, but this time we want the two-thirds width, and we want to tell it it's the ending column. So we're looking for two-thirds, and one indicates an ending column. And we can paste or type some content into that box and we can insert so if we preview that I think we get an understanding of what we've done you can see that we have a column that's only one third wide and this column is two thirds wide uh, maybe we, we want to swap them around uh, below we want another column so let's close that preview go to the bottom of the content we'll add, quickly add a spacer to space off those columns and now we're now we're going to set up a uh, two-thirds width column followed by a one-third width column so we're going to insert short code go to multi columns and we want two-third width column but a starting column so there's the two-thirds we want to select two thirds and it's the starting column. We put some content in and insert, hit the enter key just to make the code clean and insert short code. Now the final column is one third wide, so it's one of these two. Because it is the final column, it's the one at the end. We're going to insert that. So we've got two thirds width and a one third width column we have a starting column, we have an ending column so let's preview those changes and there we go, we originally had a one-third, two-thirds and we've also got a two-thirds, one-third we didn't need to know anything about formatting the width of those boxes those boxes are standard widths so that throughout the whole site a two-third width panel or column will always be the same width and likewise each of these three columns at the top are all standard width and they have kind of standard padding between them as well 